German local prepositions. This is part one of my local prepositions series. And today I will show you all the prepositions that you can use to answer the question wo, where. Hi, my name is Jan and I'm your German teacher here on Easy Deutsch, your YouTube channel for German grammar. Today's topic is German local preposition. Not all of them, just the local prepositions that you can use to answer the question where, wo. With the help of my ebook 137 German prepositions, I will show you now all the prepositions that you can use to answer the question where, and I will also show you which case you have to use. So let's switch into my ebook. So we're here now in my ebook 137 German prepositions. Today's topic is uh, local prepositions. And in general, there are three different questions or three different types of local preposition. According to those questions, we can always ask about an origin. So with woher, where from, we can ask about a place. So where? Wo, and we can ask for directions. So, wohin, where, to. And all of the local prepositions, or most of them, use dative or accusative case. I divided the uh, lesson about local prepositions into prepositions that answer those three different questions. And today we start with the ones that answer the question wo. So, Let's have a look, because usually almost all local preposition can answer the question wo, where. And if you answer a question wo with a local preposition, you always have to use the dative case. So let's have a look here. Auf is as much as on or on top. You can see this here always illustrated with my little owl. Über means above. Unter, under, vor, in front. Hinter, behind. Neben, beside. We also have an and by, which means next to. Uh, it doesn't really de define here where exactly just next to we don't know if it's on next or on the side left right in front behind doesn't matter it's just next to zwischen between and in is inside maybe here a short advice because we have both that mean the same thing by is usually used for human beings so you've been by oma there we use by, but we can technically use it for everything. But if it's not a human being, we usually prefer to use an. Ich bin an der Bushaltestelle. So I am at the bus stop. But again, it would be bad if you really at the bus stop because German takes this very literally. Because if you're at the same exact spot where the bus stops, you're under the bus in German. <laughs> so you want to be next to it, close by, but definitely not exactly where the bus stops. So that's why ich bin an der Bushaltestelle, because it's not a human being, but we could say ich bin bei der Bushaltestelle, but we cannot say ich bin an Oma. I'm at Grandma's, it only works with bei. But by we can use for everything, but un only for non-human, non-living things. So those are the local prepositions that answer the question where. It's very similar to English. So here you can usually simply use the translation to English, only you have to pay attention here with un and Bye. So my task for you is, if you don't have my ebook, take a screenshot, print the screenshot out and put that out somewhere where you can see them all the time so that you can memorize the use of those 
different prepositions. If you have my ebook, you can simply print out this page and put it behind your computer, in your bathroom, on your fridge until you know those prepositions. If you have any further questions about local German prepositions that answer the question where, wo, please do not hesitate to ask them in the comment section below. I'm always trying to answer all your questions. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because in the next days I will publish the other videos about local prepositions answering the questions where from and where to and even a video about temporal German prepositions. So hit that subscribe button and activate the little notification bell too. If you liked that video, hit the like button and share it uh, with your friends. And if you like the ebook that you just saw, you will find the link in the comment uh, section and in the video description below too. And I hope I will see you again in one of my next videos. And until then, viel Spaß und Erfolg beim Deutschland.